What is going on, everyone? Mike O back. Mike O live doing an SGC reveal video. This is, I believe, 52 cards. It is a crazy mix of stuff. There are some non sports, there are baseball, there's basketball, hockey, football, there's stuff from the early 1900s and stuff that came out very recently. So we will uh, get into it. We got a small stack here to the right for myself. We got a nice little stack here for Big Scott 35, who you can check out on YouTube. Check his channel out. We got one card for Lee, a couple cards for TTM Mike, who also makes videos. We got a small stack for Brian M, his first uh, submission, and then a few cards for Clint as well. So let's. Uh, Get ready to roll through them. There'll be a few people watching live. Uh, most of the people will watch this via the archive. I appreciate it. If you can hit the like button and post a comment down below, let us know uh, what some of your favorites are. Um, do you enjoy the reveals? What do you think about SGC? Whatever you care to talk about. What's up, Hitman23, Carter's Kids, Big Scott35. Appreciate you guys watching live. What's up, Rex Freestyle Pack Rips? All right, so I'm going to start with a single card for Lee. Lee is a Padres fan, collects Tatis, among other players, and he had sent in one card. It was a little late for the last submission for the Topps Chrome Special, but I was able to sneak it in with this. So he has this 2023 Topps Chrome X-Fractor, Fernando Tatis Jr., which did receive an SGC Gem Mint 10. So congrats on the Gem 10 Tatis there for Lee. Be a nice addition to his Padres collection. Hopefully the Padres, uh, for his sake, have a better 2024 season than 2023. They definitely were a bit of a disappointment, but they did really play well late in the year. And honestly, if they would have snuck in, they probably would have done some damage in the postseason. So we'll see what they have in store for next year. They're going to lose some players more than likely. But retool, refresh, get some better seasons out of some guys. And, you know, you can get back in it. And if you get in, you never know. Phillies, number six seed last year. Diamondbacks, six seed this year. Both reached the World Series. What's up, Dustin Bellinger? What's up, Jay Grimes? Appreciate all you guys tuning in. All right, we got a couple cards here for Clint. He does some non-sports stuff. So he had two that were not slabbed. Um, I'll have to ask him if he wants to uh, try CGC or not. I mean, they've been off and on with slabbing some of the oddball stuff. But Superbands, Genesis. These are for his Phil Collins PC. And then we have uh, this one here as well that they did not slab sometimes it's because it's just a set they don't do sometimes it's because they can't identify it you know various reasons all right and then we have a slightly larger tall boy here this is a 1988 panini smash hits genesis really hard to show off these bigger ones with the reflection but that one is an sgc4 I guess it looks a little better that way. SGC4 there. Not bad for a taller card. And then the final card is a 1981 Panini Discorama Phil Collins in a 5. So not bad, I wouldn't think. Um, for something like this, that probably wouldn't have been as easy to protect back in 1980. Kind of an odd shaped. I don't know what typical grades of these. I'm sure these are the types of items that aren't graded all the time. But if it were mine, I'd be happy with that grade. But everyone kind of likes different things. All right, so let's see what else we got here. All right, we'll do uh, Brian M's next. He's got a four-card submission. He's got a 1971 Topps, Carl Yastrzemski. Very clean-looking 71 Topps card. Received a six-and-a-half. Uh, 71s, of course, are always going to be tough. Uh, centering and then little chips and such. Even if it's a cleaner looking copy compared to the typical 71 tops you find, they're always going to be uh, pretty tough. So six and a half on the Yaz. Great looking card. And then the 71 tops Nolan Ryan received a five. 
always like that 71 top set five there here is a very cool one definitely right up my alley it's a 1973 tops mike schmidt that also features ron say of course as well john hilton the uh least known of the three players but a six and a half which is a pretty strong grade for the 73 schmidt um you know pretty clean looking copy overall i would think that print spot there on the hat i don't think that those are crazy common but uh that's a cool card there i mean that's an awesome card to own in general uh, i do own one and finally we got uh wesker griff on the uh Schmidt bandwagon this previous year got him uh, to finally get himself a Mike Schmidt. So super cool rookie card there. And then the final card for Brian is a 71-72 tops Pete Moranovich. Nice looking card there in a six. So an SGC six. Excellent to near mint. Six. So four really clean looking vintage cards there so hopefully uh overall brian will be all right with that all right let's do uh ttm mike next so he had mike had one card that was not created this beckett hockey promo card they did not um slab they made 2500 of them but they wouldn't do it Something we could try with CGC as well, if uh, desired. All right, cards. We got a basketball auto. This is a 2021-22 Panini Hoops. Marcus Johnson. Great significance autograph. Nine and a half on the card. Ten on the auto. Then we got a little vintage action. Vintage action with kind of pre-war players. So we got a 1961 Golden Press, Hank Greenberg. I like this set. This set's cool. It's a four and a half. Um, I have the Grover Cleveland out of the Golden Press set. This is a sweet one here as well. Jimmy Fox, 61 Golden Press, Jimmy Fox in a four. Man, this something goofed up with the YouTube app. This happened to me uh, during my last live sale, too, where some of the comments just start being overtyped on each other instead of moving up the list, so it's harder to read. Here's a 2022 Panini Chronicles. Patrick Mahomes the second magnitude at the time of this live video. Mahomes is uh, facing off against the Dolphins in Germany. A little early NFL action. An eight on this one here. Little non-sports vintage action. 1966 Donruss, the Green Hornet. Let's go, Kato. Received a three and a half. More non-sports. Got a 1976 Topps. Welcome back. Number one, up your nose, an SGC six. So cool, John Travolta there. Got a little Johnny Depp action. 1987 tops, 21 Jump Street, proud and fearless in an eight. How about an Incredible Hulk sticker? 1975 Topps Comic Book Heroes stickers. The Hulk in a five. So we got a mix of everything. Like I said, there is a mix of everything in this submission. Get a 2023 Topps Game Within the Game. Anthony Volpe rookie card in a nine and a half. Game Within the Game is a really nice set. Doesn't get a lot of attention in the hobby, but... Very cool looking cards. And then one more Golden Press. It's number 32, Honus Wagner in it too. I mean, just look at that card. Like a gorgeous image. Great looking card. It's not going to break the bank. Very, very cool. 
All right, next up we have Big Scott 35 who I can see is commenting in the uh, chat. I'll have to take a peek at it later and read uh, what you guys are talking about. But uh, Scott's got some Batman cards and he's got some Topps comics. And by the way, Topps comics, uh, there's an insert based on the Topps comics in uh, Archives, which releases this week. They look pretty neat. They aren't going to be as large, not the same size or shape, and they look a little different, but they're uh, kind of a cool-looking insert. So there's a 66 Tops of the Batman, uh, card 20, Robin to the Rescue, and a 4. And we've got 66 Tops Batman, number 18, Robin in Action, receiving a 3.5. Appreciate all you guys watching live. Four thumbs up. And SGC1 on card 26, Queen of Crime. A one on the Catwoman. That is card 25. Man, when Scott, uh, when you complete that set, that's going to be, uh, hopefully you'll do a video showing them all off. That will be pretty cool. neat. Four and a half on the 1966 Topps Batman Double Cross, card 22, featuring the Penguin. All right, card number 23, Umbrella Duel, is a two SGC. Two, Batman taking on the Penguin. Card number 17, Spikes of Death, received a three. These cards, these Batman cards look great in the SGC holders. One and a half on card 24, Penguin Captured. And final Batman card is card number 21, Narrow Escape. Received a three. Clean card, definitely uh, centering issues, which brought it down a bit. But overall, can't complain. All right, Topps Comics. Hopefully these are the way uh, Scott likes them. Sending a little stack here. All right, 1979 Topps Comics, number 28, Pete Rose. Received an SGC3. I copied off of Scott. Making sure I grab the Pete Rose like this. When uh, he started doing these. Topps comics. So that's the second Pete Rose I've sent in the SGC. Here's a four on Dave Parker. Potential future Hall of Famer. We'll see. I know a lot of people think Dave Parker should be in. He has fallen short in his... Uh, post ballot attempts here's a three on the Dave Winfield Dave Winfield as a padre we got J.R. Richard used to be a beast for the Astros receiving a three a four on the Steve Garvey Reggie Smith of the Dodgers received a four. Ross Grimsley gets a three. Tom Terrific, Tom Seaver as the Cincinnati Red receives a four. Obviously, typically, these aren't going to grade super high. They came uh, folded up and such, so they're always going to have the folds in them. And, you know, they are, what, close to 45 years old. Here's a three on card 33, Vita Blue. Jack Clark receives a three.
And final one for Scott is Hall of Famer Ted Simmons. Ted Simmons received a four. So an SGC four on the Ted Simmons 79 Tops Comics. I thought originally this order was going to come in on Saturday. That was the original alert I got. Then all of a sudden when I looked it up, when I realized it wasn't coming, it said Monday, which I probably wouldn't have been able to do a reveal until later Wednesday. Um, but thankfully, it did uh, show up today. So able to get this revealed. And um, for those who want them back right away, hopefully uh, packed up and sent back. All right, here's uh, the cards I have. A um, couple modern, a lot of old school stuff. Um, cards I've showed off fairly recently that I just wanted to get slabbed. This was actually in the previous order. I had to send it back. Uh, this is the SP. It's the image variation short print. They just had it mislabeled. Uh, Julio Rodriguez. Cool card from 2022 Topps Chrome Platinum. Um, I, I'm a fan of the card. I like it, and I think Julio's going to be really good. But that's one I'll probably pop up on eBay. I, I'll put it a little higher because it's something I, I would sell, but I'm not. You have things you desperate to sell. You have things you want to sell, and then you have things that you would sell. And that's a would sell item. This is one I definitely want to sell. And I'm, you know, the guy could be fantastic. Who knows? Um, you never know. But it's not something I'm looking to hold. Uh, but this card is gone up quite a bit in the last couple weeks. This is a 2023 Panini Mosaic Honeycomb Prism Parallel of Will Levis, Tennessee Titans rookie quarterback in a nine and a half. These cards, uh, ungraded, were, I saw a few sell for about $300, so that one will be listed uh, within the hour, most likely, of this live uh, feed. All right, here's a 1953 Bowman Color, Del Ennis, in a four and a half. Beautiful looking card of Del Ennis. Philly's great. One Bryce Harper. This is a 2023 Tops Now Bryce Harper Red Parallel, numbered out of 10. It is an SGC 10, and that is from his 300th career home run. So when I get the parallels in Tops Now, I typically, at this point, unless it's like a really cool moment or, you know, someone, for some reason I really want, I, I'll keep certain Harpers unless it's like the purple. I, I always sell them. Uh, but this is a game I was in attendance with. I was in attendance with, uh, with my dad, my brother, and my nephew. So, cool moment. Uh, just one of the many clutch home runs Bryce Harper hit this year. And one of multiple that the bullpen ended up blowing right afterwards. Uh, Harper had the go-ahead two-run homer to give the Phillies the lead in the bottom of the eighth. For his 300th career home run, Craig Kimbrell came in and got rocked. Gave up like three runs. Phillies lost to the Angels. Um... Harper was incredibly clutch this year and literally came through in almost every big moment. Game seven, he definitely had a shot um, in his final at-bat of the uh, season in the seventh inning, but it's hard to blame a guy who uh, literally, he. it seems like he hits like 700 when, you know, it's late and close and such and when they actually have a chance. So, uh, phenomenal player and look forward to seeing him play again in 2024. All right, here's another football. This is a 2023 Panini Mosaic. Mosaic prism of Anthony Richardson. Good-looking young quarterback for the Indianapolis Colts. Unfortunately, he was injured, hurt his shoulder, and is uh, expected to miss the remainder of the regular season. But it was a parallel. looked in good shape. Thought I had a good chance at a 10, so sent it in. 9.5 on that one. And the rest, I believe, are all just for the collection. This is a 1911 Helmar Stamps. John Titus received a one. No mustache on this card, but I uh, believe he's the only one with a mustache in one of the T-set. I think it was is it the T-206s. I think it's the 206s. Just a random fact that you hear about. All right, here's a 1911 George Close Candy Company. E94, Sherry McGee, authentic, evidence of trimming, obviously missing a corner and was run over at some point, but just, uh, you know, one of those issues you want to get. If you get it at a good price, who cares? You know, I, I prefer it to look better than that, but, you know, I, I couldn't turn it down. 
Here's a 1922 Nielsen's Chocolate Frank Parkinson Type 1. It's an authentic minimum size not met. And then I got the Type 2 uh, from 22 Nielsen Chocolate Joe Goldie Wrap. It's Type 2 in a 2.5. Good plus. So the type is the uh, different backs. And honestly, slightly different uh, papers, I want to say. Uh, this is trimmed. I knew it. I just wanted to get it slabbed. Um, 36 Gaudi Wide Pen R314 Bucky Walter Type 1. It's a cool looking card. I love seeing like the old hats, the old uniforms. Authentic 1916 Ferguson Bakery BF2 Fred Luteris Felt Pennant. That's from 1916. Fred Luteris, as I've mentioned in the past, was part of that 1915 first playoff team for the Phillies, first pennant winners. And if I remember right, hit the first home run for the Phillies in uh, in their World Series history. And then the final item is an oversized. Uh, it's a 1936 R312 Dolph Camilli. Um, just a great-looking image. I, I, I love the look of it. Uh, definitely, you know, not perfect on the back. Looks like it was in an album. But, I mean, I think it presents well from the front, and that's just awesome for the collection. So that is it for the reveal. Appreciate you guys watching. Once again, appreciate you commenting below. Let me know what some of your favorites are. Uh, appreciate the continued support. And I will talk to you all next time. Have a great one.